Hi, I'm Penny Gomez and welcome to Pop Penny on Point with profiles and persons of interest. Each week we get to know your favorite personalities right here on this show. Now I'm here at a lovely home in Canopia at Ramgoli North. Now what we've done, we've also challenged our guests, our fans online to try to figure out who's popped up for a visit. And of course their prizes to be won. Now to see if you are in winner's row, yep, it's about that time, I hear a doorbell. Let's go take a look. So long, I see it. So long, I see it. <laughs> did you guess correctly? It's Nadia Batson who is today's guest on Pop. If you did and you're in your top three, then it means that there's a special treat waiting for you. Compliments of Sasha Cosmetics. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say your name Nadia anymore yeah. after that song. I'm just saying Nadia, Nadia every time I see you. <laughs> uh, welcome to Pop. You are our very first guest. And I tell you, when we were going through, you know, the, the, the guests and really looking at who should be on what show. Yes. Your name came up on the top. Oh. Without a shadow of a doubt. <laughs> Thank it was like, you. yeah, because you know what? When we looked at your credentials, Nadia, I don't think we had enough spaces in <laughs> our lines to fill it in. Because the only thing that we did not see was a doctor, lawyer, you know, but, but everything else, I think you have it covered. Everything else. You know, phenomenal woman that you are. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, thank, so, thank you, you so know, much. You are a dancer. Mm -hmm. You have to show me moves because I did not know that one as much. Yes. I've seen your moves in the video. <laughs> Songwriter. Mm -hmm. You're a singer. Yes. You know, you are, I mean, you have done just about everything. Yes. And you know what I think needed to be added to that? What I did not see in the bio, actor. Well, everyone, everybody is now telling me I need to upgrade my bio. Oh, because yeah. Because it's like With clearly 210, you're an you know what I mean, 1,000 followers. Yes. And you're in the big leagues. Yes. You yes. are in the big leagues. Thank you so, so we, much. So we want to hear because you've pivoted, mm -hmm. you know, during this time of COVID. Yes. And you have practically reinvented yourself where you just have people glued. Yes. Glued <laughs> to their tablets. <laughs> to their phones, to their laptops. I'm walking into the bathroom with my phone, <laughs> watching your TikTok videos. You know, I'm laughing out loud at home. People trying to figure out, what are you laughing at? Listen. Tell us what happened. The thing is, because I am usually touring so much, mm -hmm. um, I never have time to really explore all of my talents. So at the beginning of the whole quarantine scenario, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna start doing everything that I wanted to do that I didn't have the time to do before. Um, and that's when I decided, you know what, I'm gonna launch my beauty page because I, I love um, I love makeup, I'm playing with makeup. And then I was like, okay, I also wanted to do, um, have like a, a channel type podcast kind mm -hmm. of vibe. So I launched Yellow Cow TV. And then <laughs> mm. <laughs> some friends introduced me to TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, of course, where everything changed. This is not some of the children that you stole the TikTok thing from, right? Not some children. <laughs> because for those of you who haven't seen this, it's hilarious because it's true. It started off as a teeny bopper it did. channel. And, and then all these adults just took it yes. over and you beautifully described that in the video. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody was like, why are you going on TikTok? TikTok is for children. And I'm like, uh, no, mm -hmm. <laughs> not anymore. The one with the fridge, because I remember that being one of the first ones. And that really took off. Yeah. Quite yes. a lot. Were you surprised at the response? I was. You know what? I, I knew people would find it funny, but I also started um, playing around with editing, right? Because I always wanted to know how to edit and how to use... Like, Another thing to yes. add to the bio. There we <laughs> so go. So one day I was just like, you know what? I need content. If you have to edit, then you need content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was sitting at the table in the kitchen. I was like, maybe I should... I'm going to try to do something with this fridge. And at that time, everybody was like, oh, Lord, I'll... Oh gosh, everybody was complaining about putting on weight because they're just home, they're just eating. So I was like, you know, it'd be a really a good skit to do. And when it took off, I knew people would find it funny, but I didn't think 
that it would have been like, oh my lord, like that literally went viral. Yeah, people boy. will go even now, like up to this day, people are still. And this was when did we do that? A few months ago, people are still like, you see the fridge? <laughs> that is my favorite one. Fridge? Yes, ma'am. Are you talking? From where? No, 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 no. You don't study from where? You don't study from where? What I need you to study is that this is the 173rd time that you open my door for the day. And since that, I've, I've just been coming up with like different ideas for different skits. And, um, and I also just like to keep my fans engaged too. Um, I always felt as though not because we're in a time where we have to be at home. I didn't want to just put the fans on a back burner yeah. and be like, you know what? Well, I'll see you later when, mm -hmm. I, when I'm bringing music out again. I don't want to do that. Um, and like you said, it was just it was just a good time for me to just show all of my talents. Well, you are showing you know? good. Where does the dancing come in? What are these dancing moves <laughs> that I don't know yes, about? Yes, no, I'm not the greatest dancer in the world, but I do try. I do try. I think I'm stronger with the acting and singing, though. <laughs> you are definitely strong. You are so great at impersonations. What's your, which one is your favorite? Um, I like doing different accents. And I like um, I like people tell me I have a good farmer nappy impression, too, mm. which is very funny. You know you have to do it here now, right? That is not a problem, then Benny. <laughs> I will do that for you. Then you nailed it. You nailed it. That is so far more. That is so far more. <laughs> now, let's go back a bit. Let's look at your growth because I look back and I thought to myself, I have known Nadia forever. Yeah. You know, from the yeah. Digital Rising Stars Digital days. And let's talk about mm -hmm. the, you know, the milestone um, times in your career. Right. I don't know if you want to take it as far back as to perhaps your party monarch days. And you, you were even a finalist on um, Chutney. Monarch yeah. as well too. So <laughs> yeah, well, at, at that time I was still competing real heavy in the thing, right? Um, I was a finalist in Chutney Soka Monarch. I think that was in 2015. I think that yes. was the actually the last year that I competed yes. on the Soka Monarch stage mm -hmm. as well as Chutney Monarch right. as well. Um, and like you said, I just have really pivotal areas of my of my career. Digital Rising Stars was definitely one of them. Definitely, because I kind of explored a different side of me as well. Um, and I think too, maybe because I could relate to um, everyone who was coming up for, for all of the auditions. Mm -hmm. I knew how nervous they were feeling. So everybody, Nadia was their favorite judge. They just please Nadia. They... Yeah, because you see, I have to tell you, you were very politically correct. One night yeah. me, so will be like, you know, don't ask me to be a judge. I might want to be honest. You were like, you were like, oh my God. I, you know. Nah, it's just, it's already so intimidating yes. because when you have to actually perform in front of a mm -hmm. Nadia, Nival and, and, and Nigel, everybody was like, oh my gosh. So they were already scared. So I tried to make everybody feel very very relaxed and welcomed mm -hmm. and and I think that people really appreciated that not only the contestants but the, the viewing audience as well you know well yeah. you have been in the world of entertainment since eight years old and yeah. you've made such an impact so you know what we did Nadia what I mean it's okay to have you sitting here and hearing what you <laughs> you know what I mean you have to say but we wanted to hear mm -hmm. from you know your peers and as well to just a regular man in the street Right. What Nadia means to them. Really? So we have done that and we're about to show you. You ready? Oh my ready God. Ready to hear what people say about you Listen, and think about you? I am a crier. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late now. It's done. It's done. Okay, okay. so here we go. Nadia Martino is original. I love her voice. Uh, one of the things I like about her, she's a big girl and she could she could well move her wrong for that. <laughs> She's very confident in everything that she does. Nadia, baby girl, I love your drive. I love your spirit. Oh, Nadia, I love how you have yourself looking. <laughs> I love her energy. I love her style. I like this song so long I see you. She keeps herself nice and she keeps it natural. Nadia is being real. And Nadia is being her. And she's very pleasant and she's nice to talk to. And has real perform for she music. <laughs> she look real good. And I enjoy she music. <laughs> it makes you want to dance. It gives you the, the vibes to dance. Her performance is, she never disappoints when she performs. And you see that bumper song? I mean, oh, <laughs> from one island to another <laughs> island. I fought in the front, not behind, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 
，我过来玩这个西呀，我一样。西呀，我西哦，给咩玩呀？呀，我要办法了，给发，没发给发，咱家里呢，好没办法了，给。Oh my gosh, listen. First and foremost, that's my laughing partner. What? If my soup and tick like that, yeah. I do want. Oh my! But she's the queen of sass, and she should also be the queen with the warmest heart and one of the nicest people you will ever meet. Oh my God! If my tea in hot, my food in hot like Nadia, I do want. <laughs> she's inspired me all throughout my career and still does. So what else I can say? That's my dog. <laughs> Nadia is love. Nadia is quirkiness. Nadia is joy, and Nadia is just forever going to be the queen of sass, and we love you, Nadia. Nadia, wake up yourself, girl. Listen. Yeah. Oh my God. Just remember, Listen. Nadia. Anything can happen on pop. Anything can uh, pop up on pop. All you want to do are these things, man. Come on. Yeah. So Nadia, just some of the precious moments brought to you by Pop, Thank and there's so, so many other moments. But you know what? Stay tuned to find out what's coming up on Pop. Oh. To pop and we are here vibing with Nadia <laughs> Batson and we gave her a few precious moments before because like I told her you know what I mean anything could happen on pop anything could pop up um, but you know where you have been popping that yellow cow show listen, listen, listen. <laughs> <laughs> no topic is off limits. None, none at all. The thing is, um, Yellow Cow TV is well. I do it with, with my very, very good friend, Miss Alicia. Mm -hmm. Alana is also there. She's mm -hmm. actually uh, my drummer from the oh, SAS. Right. Uh -huh. um, but we, we were so real with it because well, we've literally been friends since we were kids. Mm -hmm. So that's why people say, oh, you have so much chemistry, but yep. we're just good. This is, sometimes we actually forget cameras rolling. We just sit and talk and laugh. Um, and then one day I was like, you know what? We should probably film this so people can see this, you know. And whose venue is that where you all film it? Mine. It's yours. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But people seem to really, really have fun with it and enjoy it, but no topic is off limits at all. Which one you think? Um, has, you know, pushed the edge the most? Because I've um, seen most of them. <laughs> I, I just binge watch. <laughs> um, it's not every single thing I could put on camera. But for me, I always wanted people, people know me as always being very real and very down to earth. And um, so I always kind of just wanted to show that side without actually having to push the envelope too much, you know, because sometimes we can go a little crazy and tend to edit out all of that stuff. Yeah. Um, but in terms of like one of the topics that I liked the most, I would probably have to say no, we're dealing with carnival and the fact that we have no carnival 2021. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a lot of engagement and a lot, it's a lot of emotions mm -hmm. too, because mm -hmm. both Alicia and I are both artists. So, you yes. know, and as stakeholders in carnival, we are really affected by it. So you'll find that we have in a lot of banter where that is concerned, but we have fun with it. You definitely have fun and you've known her for forever, like you forever. said. What does forever. it mean to the friendship to actually be able to put a product out that you can just share just, because you're sharing yourselves yeah, essentially yeah we're just so proud of it um alicia was saying just the other night that she really didn't even think that people would because when i brought they always tell me they always say nadia is such a visionary they say that to me my entire band all the time if nadia tell you do something don't even worry how it's gonna work just do it just because do i it. can mm -hmm. already see pe this is something that people would love so just the other night she was saying Nads, honestly, I didn't think that people would like when I when you came. She said when when you came to me and said you wanted to like film us talking. She was like film us talking. I'm like, but 
laughter. People love to laugh. And especially now, they need yes. that break away from all the news. Oh, yes. Listen, it's just so depressing. So, mm -hmm. And that's one of the one of the comments that keep coming up all the time, that yes. people keep saying Correct. that, you know, yes. we ha they, they can't wait for Saturday morning so that they can have something to laugh at. They look forward to What's it. up with the name Yellow Cow, by the way? Yellow Cow. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing deep and cerebral behind it, uh -huh. if I'm being honest. We were just kind of throwing names out there. We were like... All right, so I want this name to be something that could kind of be a topic of discussion, mm -hmm. right? So I didn't want it to be like the Nadia and Alicia. I didn't want it to be anything like that. I have this huge yellow rug <laughs> at home, right? And I was like, well, we're close to the rug, so maybe, uh, maybe it should be yellow, yellow. rug. Uh, and, and they were like, yellow rug? One of us said, how about yellow cow? Hey, yellow cow it is. Yellow cow it is. <laughs> I don't care if it's yellow, brown, green, blue. I mean, it just it just totally rocks. Yeah, thank totally you so rocks. much. And, you know, love the chemistry with you and Miss Alicia. Thank and, you. And um, remember when I told you, you know, the last time that mm -hmm. anything can happen and pop? Uh-huh. Anything. Anything, you know what I mean, could pop up and pop. Right. But you know what? Is that is that a doorbell I hear? What? Um, you know, you know. Who's popped up? What is happening? <laughs> 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 Court, court, I can see that. Tricky. Of course. True. Court, court, court. Court, court, court. court. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Is about what? <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. This is wow. the second gotcha. In a yes. yes. she was in tears when she was actually looking at what you were saying about her. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. And now to have you in the flesh, I feel as if I'm in, you know, to be in the presence of um, real celebrity. Wow. And for me, I count Thank celebrity. You, so you know what I mean? Because you connect so much to people Thank you so when much, you do sir. that. Show. Smiling. Yeah. <laughs> no more tears now. Come on, come on, no more tears. No more tears, no more tears. No more tears. More tears. Oh what is it God. like working with her? Oh, boy. she's a, she's a hard worker. You can't, <laughs> you can't help but get, just get involved, you know, or, or get inspired because she's a serious drive, always going, going. So the energy is always, not, it, I, I'm sure nobody could even say the last time they see Nadi down or, you know, you really have to know how to even say, well, like, something wrong. She always have a smile. She always, you know, <laughs> welcoming, you know, welcoming and warm. All right. Now, when I look at the show, I realize a lot of times she seems to pose the topics. Is it that she really does do it and you don't know what it's going to be? Or, you, you're, you know, um, we can just you can tell us. Things you out. can tell us. You, we, we just go through the motions on, yeah. on, as it comes, you know? As it comes. You know, have some, some things that you say, hey, what do you think about that? And then, you know, yeah. just... Or, or we just kind of throw things out. Like I said, sometimes we forget the cameras are rolling mm. half the time because this is literally what we are used yeah, to doing. Know, that's what we do. mm. Just sitting yeah. and talking and laughing, you know, so. And the friendship goes far back. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's your origin? Where did you all meet? <laughs> Where did we even meet? Probably like in, in the CSB, by, with, uh, uh, when we studio. studios. We were kids, yeah. we were like right. literally teenagers yeah. right. at so that time. Amara Studios with yeah. That, yeah. And yeah. you're an artist in your own right. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. Wow, so it is a fantastic partnership. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is a fantastic yeah, partnership. Yeah, yeah. And in a time when, of course, artists are, you know, really hard pressed to find new ways of um, you know earning, mm -hmm. right? And also, of course, you know it's been just practicing the craft, and you found a very innovative way to do so. Yes. What What do you want to tell them? Because you pivoted. What do you want to tell your your peers? You know what? Tap into. I am certain as creatives, we don't have just one skill. That yeah. is a fact. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, we may love um, singing and performing most, um, but now I just feel like just explore. And I always tell people to. Don't be afraid of people not understanding what you're seeing yes. just yet. They'll get it. They'll mm. get it. Um, you know, and as long as you as you package it the right way and you send it out the right way, they'll get it. Like Alicia's always mm. Alicia's be like, oh gosh, <laughs> now he's so picky. Jeez and ages. <laughs> like for every yeah, little yeah, thing. Yeah, but she, for me, mm. I always feel like I need it to look the way I'm seeing mm. it mm. in my head. Mm. Um, so don't be afraid. You know, sometimes people laugh at me. When I was going to do SAS, which was the first all-female yeah. um, yeah. soccer mm -hmm. band in the entire Caribbean. Correct. 
And it was at a, at a time where the temperature of the industry was like, everybody was kind of straying away from bands yeah, because yeah. it was just like, get a solo artist. What is Run Nadia doing? You know? Mm -hmm. And this is now, what, eight, nine years later. And I Sasquatch still have my four. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. For wow. sure. <laughs> For sure. Okay. Well, ladies, I tell you, I mean, you made such an impact. Yeah. you know on people's Thank lives you. in this time when people really need to be lifted mm -hmm. so i want to say that we appreciate you all okay guys so you know that it's important to us to know what's trending we, we live in a world where we want to be i mean on flick i don't even know if that's a terminology anymore <laughs> but we want to know what people are into what they're wearing what they're saying so we have been running polls online and um you know we've put some options out there and our fans have been responding so, you know, let's see how they voted because it's important to us to know if, in fact, the trends that we put up, if they got the pop stamp of approval. What? Bang, bang, F, bang, bang, bang. I'm um, excuse. Um, I just have one question for you. By chance, you work in TN Tech? Because girl, your beauty is shocking. Only good? Only hungry? Now make some roti for Olena. And now make some and a little curry chicken. It tastes real good. I'm gonna bring some of that for you. Only don't. You sure? Only do go home and tell Olena mother I didn't feel Olena. No. I walk over to my daughter and the principal come up behind me. She goes, Miss Williams, can I talk to you? Sure. I want to talk to you about what happened with Chrissy. No, 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 no. I ask her myself, thank you. What happened today? I hit her. I said, cause she hit you, huh? Nope. Did she say something mean to you? She didn't get a chance. <laughs> well, why did you hit her? She looked me right in my face in front of everybody and said, because you told me to. No, I didn't. Mom, you told me to hit her. I did not tell you to hit anybody. You being a fibber. She got mad when I used the word fibber. She goes, I'm not lying. I came home yesterday and I was so sad. And I said, mommy, that girl hit me and you was frying chicken and you took the chicken off the stove and you put it to the side and you said, I'm tired of these mother <laughs> with my baby. <laughs> when you go to school tomorrow, you hit her ass and you don't stop until somebody pulls you off. Okay, Nadia, I know mm. that you are certainly a woman who is on the pulse. You have your, you know what I mean, your hand on the pulse of right. things. Right. Yeah, right there, ready, on the tip right. of things. And Miss Alicia, you're not backward too, you know. You're not backward. <laughs> this is why you're on pop. Right. So, so we have a challenge. It's called pop or flop. The patch hoodie sweatshirt, pop or flop? The patch hoodie sweatshirt? Yeah, the, the, the patch. Oh, pop. Pop. Pop, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, That's I, trending I think, right yes. Now. What about the male romper? Flop. Flop. Is you, you can't see it. Is well, You know what? Is he... Is my flop. Tell me which part of it you don't like. Is my is my only the onesie should be for the babies. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. I'm agreeing oh. with you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Leopard jumpsuits for ladies. Pop. Yeah, pop. Um, leopard, yeah, yeah, yeah. Leopard, leopard is back in right now. Leopard is, says you my, see, my lady see? with the beauty page. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. What about, you know, they have these latex stops now. Have you all seen those? Yes. Mm -hmm. You have one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's a pop. That would be a pop. A pop. I feel Miss Alicia not agreeing with you on that. She's not having that one at all. Okay. What about a denim jumper? That would, that would always be a pop. Yeah, because yes. I, is I, have admit, I have one, and every time it comes back, and I just bring it bring out. Bring it back. Yeah, yeah. No. I'm hoping I'm the same yeah. size. Let's bring it back out. Let's bring it back out. Okay. What about um, the little little tea dress? Like that's like a one jersey kind of little dress there, like a little t-shirt. Mm, yeah. No, it's it's yeah. it's popping right now. It's actually popping the oversized, right now. Oversized the oversized sweatshirt and the tees. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pop. Pop. <laughs> what about that ripped t-shirts? You know the, like the t-shirt with the different holes and yeah. A lot of uh, holes. Flop. That's, flop. Yeah, yeah, time for that one. Yeah. Easy up. Yeah. Easy up. <laughs> Ease up on that one. What about the dyed lounge pants? 
you know, the tie dye, you know, it's kind of like the mm -hmm. yoga well, pants. I, 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 I you, you know, see like different. I, I like, like them. them only because tie dye is very, very much in right now. Mm -hmm. Tie dye and yeah. blocked tie dye is and very, very much. I in. don't even know what that is. But okay. <laughs> and Nadia says it's, it's popping. It's popping. <laughs> now for the final challenge, mm -hmm. uh -huh. pop or flop, mm -hmm. the Sean Paul clapper. Pop, pop. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's look at it first. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what going? This is Sean Paul, and I'm telling you all right now, I'm looking for clappers and shakers, you know what I mean? The girl, them skill out, chick! Sean Paul, so me give it to, so me give it to, so me give it to, to our girls. Five million and forty naughty shorty, baby girl, I'm a girl. I'm a girl. So it's definitely a pop. And you know what um, I have to tell you, ladies, I'm stepping up to the plate here. Like you, I too like a little challenge. Mm -hmm. I like a little challenge. Mm -hmm. I am not a TikTok queen like you. <laughs> but you know, I can, <laughs> I, I can embrace a challenge. All right. So Nadia, because you are a dancer, as stated in your bio, <laughs> you think I could show a girl how to do the clapper? It's very easy. It's literally just a clap. We could do one. We should do one. You see, you see how she set that up? I just want to say now, it's very easy. It's just like the clap. So if I can't do it now. <laughs> the pressure. 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 No pressure. Let's do one. Let's do one. Let's do okay, one. Okay, so we're doing one. <laughs> yes. All right. But we're holding it. We're holding it. All let's, right. Let's give them something to, you know what I mean? Let them, let's whet their appetites. All right. And literally... <laughs> The, we are going to wet their appetites because we're going to go to break. But when we come <laughs> back as well to besides the TikTok challenge, mm -hmm. um, I understand that you have a best show. Yes. <laughs> you have a best show. Yes. <laughs> you know, some people might call it a, a, a grape infused, you know, with alcohol chow. Uh -huh. I call it a drunken chow. Yeah. You know, we will see what the viewers think. But, you know, there's that pretty to good. look forward pretty, to. Pretty <laughs> there's that to look forward to when we come back on a pod. Welcome back to Pop. Now, I promised you earlier on <laughs> Nadia's famous alcohol infused. I don't know which one, if it's the grape infused or the alcohol infused, <laughs> but the grape infused alcohol chow that she's famous for. I am just simply calling it a drunken chow. I don't know who Nadia is trying to fool, but Nadia is going to show me, you know what I mean, how to make it. So, sure. all yours. Now, I am always credited with this recipe, but tr truthfully, I got this recipe when I appeared on a cup of joe. Uh, mm. a few, just a few years ago. So thanks so much to my friends at A Cup of Joe hey. TT. Hey. Um, it <laughs> is a grape chow. Yes. Um, and it is actually perfect for like Christmas time. Oh. So, you know, and especially when you have like grapes that are different colors and you right. blend it, it kind of just festive, mm. nice. So it's very, very simple ingredients. It's just like you're making chow. Okay. So we have grapes, preferably seedless grapes, mm -hmm. mainly because of the texture of the grape. A cognac of your choice. Um, you can use Hennessy, Cavassier, anything that you, if you want to be right. fancy. And if I want to do a rum instead. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll stick with the cognac. We'll, we'll stick, stick with, with the cognac. cognac. Yes. <laughs> and then, of course, you have your usual stuff that you have in show. You have salt, you have black pepper, mm -hmm. shadow benny, of course. garlic, mm -hmm. a little pepper, a little lime. Mm -hmm. Chow. Chow. Right. Chow. <laughs> so... We have our grapes that you so nicely already cut up for mm -hmm. me. <laughs> we have green and black grapes here. All right. And we're gonna just add some garlic. Not powdered garlic, it has to be actual garlic. Powdered garlic. Okay. <laughs> You see people like me who are not in the kitchen that no, much, my no, dress? No, no, no. No, no, unheard of, sure. <laughs> Um, I like a lot of shadow benny, mm -hmm. so we add some shadow benny to it. All right. We have lime. lime. I just took the seeds out of the lime. Is it that the acidity from the lime goes, it gives it a nice blend in terms of, you it know, does. taste with the sweetness it of the... It does. Okay. 
And I tend to add um, my pepper, salt, and black pepper last, only mm. because I like to leave the chow overnight. Oh. So I, I like the, the, the salt to kind of yeah. marinate. Mm. And so we add some salt. Sometimes you have to be a little generous with the salt. Mm -hmm. That's to combat the sweetness of yes. the grapes. Listen. I know I know a thing or two. <laughs> right, black pepper. Mm -hmm. If you want hot pepper. Some people they say they don't want hot pepper. Now you're not gonna put it. all of that pepper no, no, inside no, there. Right? Just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little. Because if I know your hand heavy enough. No. Okay. That's good. That could work. That That's could work. Good. We can work with that. And now the secret ingredient. The secret ingredient. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Right. And we mix. And like I said, this is just perfect for Christmas time. Like if you're having friends over for Christmas time, because it's quick, it's mm. easy. It smells so good. It does. It does. I think I need just a little more salt though. Yeah. I'm so used to making this now, I don't even need to taste it. Mm, okay. <laughs> That's when you know you're a pro. <laughs> And usually, like I said, we leave it overnight mm -hmm. to marinate, but for today, mm -hmm. let me let you taste some of this goodness. Put some more sauce in there. That's all right, the sauce all in. right, all right. Let's add the sauce. <laughs> the cognac. The cognac. <laughs> okay. There we go. There we go. And let's just make sure that you see that. Yes. I think it's all lovely in there. <laughs> and, um, This is what I call the best job, but don't judge me. I think that the sauce is still the winner, so you know. Oh. Nadia, definitely a winner. Thank you so very You're much for very, this. You're very, very, very well. This is going to become a staple on my table come Christmas. Yes, for sure. A staple. Thank you so very much. And um, now we're going to take a break. When we come back, Penny Spicks. I'm going to put Nadia in the firing line because you know she likes to ask people oh, questions. I have to ask Nadia some <laughs> questions and let her think quickly on her feet. Oh, you just boy. put me through a pepper <laughs> tasting exercise there. So, you know, now I want to see how quickly you can think in what we are calling rapid fire. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Dog or cat? Dog. Pilau, wet or dry? And I know you're a best pilau wet. maker. Wet. Okay. Netflix or YouTube? Netflix. Taxi or maxi? Taxi. Phone call or WhatsApp? WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Bread or roti? Roti. Instagram or TikTok? Uh-huh, that's a hard one, right? I know. Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, ice cream or snow cone? Ice cream. Tribe or Yuma? Yuma. Wine or rum? Wine. Okay. <laughs> 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 what is more important in a partner? Intelligence or humor? Intelligence. Intelligence. Doubles or alpai? Doubles. Parato or dalpuri? Parato. I know, I know, I know it's hard, I know. KFC <laughs> or Royal Castle? Royal Castle. Digicel or B-Mobile? Digi, digi. <laughs> Starbucks <laughs> or Rituals? Rituals. VIP or General? General all mm. day. You, you see that? Yeah. <laughs> I, I understand where you're coming from with that. Carib or stag? Carib. Port of Spain or San Fernando? <laughs> mm -hmm. Port of Spain. Port of Spain. Okay. Curry or stew? Curry. Main road or bus route? Shh. Remember. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Bus route. <laughs> Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Soka or chutney? Soka. 
Carnival or Christmas? We saved the toughest one for last. Carnival. Carnival. <laughs> okay, she's a carnival baby and she did so well in Rapid Fire. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that brings us to the end of Rapid Fire. All right. In our next segment, every week, I'm going to tell you what my favorite picks are. This can range from anything to books, food, a movie, mm -hmm. anything that I think really grabbed my attention. So, Nadia, I'm just so glad that you're here to share this with me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my movie right. that I'm currently just obsessing on right. is Contagion, starring Matt Damon and Lawrence Fishburne. And I think because it represents so much of what is happening now, I, right. it's like your life is a horror movie because right. it talks about that virus, it's a pandemic, and finding a right. cure, and the vaccine, and you right. need to look at it. It <laughs> is just a must-see. Now, let's go to my favorite book. Mm -hmm. My favorite book. I tell you, this book has meant so much to me. Right. And I have it right here, actually. Let's, let's get that book. Right here. Oh, you're a reader like me. I am a reader. <laughs> a reader. And my Becoming. favorite book, <laughs> my favorite book is Becoming, Michelle Obama's Becoming. This changed my life. Um, it really came at a point where it spoke to me because it spoke about empowerment. It spoke mm -hmm. so much about um, the power of healing. It spoke to the limitless possibilities that I think, you know, we don't realize that we have within us. Um, and she was just so relatable. Yes. So it's this and then it's a journal that I also got fixated on. Right. Because the journal reminds me every day I can take notes and there's a yes. quote from the book. So yes. this is a must read, people. Yes. And because it's a must read and because it means so much to me, Nadia, I'm really hoping that um, it will mean just as much to you. I Thank you so, so much. I'm a reader as well. I actually watched the um, the Netflix special on so Becoming did I. Mm -hmm. Michelle Obama. Mm -hmm. So this is, I'm definitely going to be reading yeah. this. She's a powerhouse. I'm she from is. one powerhouse to another. You know, you're Thank worthy you of that so book, much. Nadia. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> and the last Penny Picks is my favorite dance to the song Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Tell me you know it. Tell me you know it. <laughs> I know the song. You know the song. Well, you know what? I actually did a tutorial to find out, you know, the steps because I was being embarrassed. I would hear people say, hey, we are across here on the virtual parties that they have and it's like, yeah, we can do this and they're showing me, you know, and I'm saying, I need to get, I yeah. need to get in touch with my inner, my inner dancer. So I've been learning the steps. So I'm um, not sure if you will have a chance to see it anytime soon. <laughs> However, what you probably will get a chance to see now is some of the good work that so many people have been doing across Trinidad and Tobago. So each week we will invite viewers to send in their clips of just the difference that they are making in communities across the nice. Twin Isle. And we're calling it Positivity of the People. Nice. Oh, again. Yes. Um, so this week in the spotlight, Cashew Gardens. Take a look. Welcome to Cashew Gardens, a model community. The Kasha Gardens Community Council was formed in 2001 to lobby for improved conditions in the community. Our very first project was our community garden. We took funds from the garden to build our community centre and at our community centre we started our recycling programme. The Kasha Gardens Community Garden was a solution to get unemployment situation among women in the community. In 2012, the Council partnered with the Ministry of Agriculture to provide training in global culture.